Hello, today on Isle of Games we'll be looking at how to navigate 5e tools. For our purposes today we will be using the mirror version of the site to get rid of uh, the banner ads that exist on the main site. I assure you that everything we're going to see and do here works equally well on the main site. Uh, it is solely for the lack of ads in this video that we are using their mirror site. Now we're going to go over all the basics of the 5e tools homepage, and then we're going to go over three key tabs in depth uh, that are a little more complicated than some of the others those tabs being the classes tab the items tab and the spells tab all of which are located here in the players section of the homepage. you will notice also that there are the rules and dungeon masters section we will go over each of these in turn so to start with the player section contains a list of the eight most frequent uh, pages on 5e tools or the eight most uh, important tools as deemed by 5e tools uh, for players here uh, and they are not wrong about that uh, you just click on any of these and you will go to a corresponding page that contains an entire compendium of all of uh, whichever feature you have selected in the uh, in the entirety of 5th edition Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, additionally, uh, on all pages, not just the home page, uh, this little bar exists at the top, allowing you to return quickly to the home page or also to select these pages from various drop downs, such as the rules section, the player section, the dungeon master section, and even the references section. Now, each of these sections contains something slightly different from the sections down here in the main body. The rules section on the drop down contains uh, quick references, tables, and all of the various uh, published books from 5th edition Dungeons and Dragons to allow you to peruse the written text as it was pu published by Wizards of the Coast. Uh, the player section contains most of what you would need for the uh, player options on the home page, but it also comes with a few additional features such as a, stat a statistics generator. Uh, this is your life, which helps you generate a uh, compelling backstory for your character, and several tables of names, which can be useful for naming characters if you're having a hard time coming up with that perfectly convincing orcish name. The Dungeon Master section contains a list of all the adventures published, as well as a number of things that would pertain only to the Dungeon Master, such as objects, traps, challenge ratings, encounters, loot, various battle maps, uh, uh, all good stuff. Uh, and besides, and then references contains things that would be of interest to both players and Dungeon Masters, such as how actions work the bestiary, items, languages, spells, you know, things that both, a, oh, excuse me, a dungeon master would need as a, uh, uh, for running the game and a player might need to, uh, you know, play their character. But uh, with that aside, we're going to go into some of the more complicated pages in here and give you a little bit of an overview. So to start with, we're going to go over here to the classes page. Uh, the class page is navigated along this lovely little bar right here where you can click on whichever class you want. Uh, rogue, here's the rogues. Uh, monks, here are monks. Sorcerers, here are sorcerers, etc, etc. A couple of key navigational tricks are right here are all the subclasses for the sorcerer. These are all the published subclasses. If you want to find Unearth Arcana, you can click over here and click View All, and you will see with the Unearthed Arcana symbol next to everything, that is not an officially published source, but instead still in beta testing if you have something you really want to use. Uh, we're going to go back to View Official just to show us uh, the official ones. By clicking on these, you will uh, be able to then click on the Subclass Comparison tab to bring up a complete text of everything that this 
uh, these subclasses bring side by side with one another at each level. So 6th level is all at the same point, 14th level is all at the same point, etc., etc., regardless of how short or long the text is for any one of them, it will always be parallel. Which can be very useful when trying to decide on your character specialty. Additionally, uh, when you have selected uh, one of these and highlighted them blue, you can go down to a Sorceress Origin feature, and you will see written in blue your chosen ability for the subclass, or the ability it gives you. And uh, that is the basics of moving around. Uh, as I just demonstrated, you can click on any of these words to jump to the corresponding uh, level uh, for your character. Uh, so that is the basics of the classes system on 5e tools. Moving on to items. Items is a wonderful little place here. It is divided into two search uh, into two taskbars, one of which is mundane, uh, ordinary items, things with no magical properties, and the other is all the various magical items in Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition. To better navigate this uh, rather massive compendium, there is both a search bar and a filter section where you can eliminate certain uh, books or focus on certain ones just by clicking on them. Uh, this is off, this is on, this is not in here, which means that if it shows up in the Sword Coast Adventurer's Guide and Tales from the Yawning Portal, it will not appear. This just means if it shows up in the Sword Coast Adventurer's Guide, it won't appear, so long as it does not appear anywhere else. And this means that if it's in the Sword Coast Guide, it appears, so on, so on. You can sort through here uh, for the rarity of your magic item, uh, properties, uh, whether or not it requires attunement, whether it works with a specific class, a specific background, spell casting focuses, damage types, basically anything you could imagine being a condition or a feature for one of these magical items is uh, it's listed somewhere in here, and you just gotta scroll around till you find it, click on it, and well, I'll show you. It will provide me with only spellcasting focus items for clerics, including the mundane objects and the uh, the magical objects. These are things that can only be attuned to by a cleric. So that's fun. Uh, and that is the basics of how to navigate the item section on 5e tools. And finally, we come to spells. Now this is a list of all the spells in Dungeons & Dragons 5th edition. There are quite a few of them, 514 to be exact. And like the tools section, it features a lovely little filter where you can eliminate or focus on a singular book, or find spells of specific levels, or belong to a specific class, uh, or be uh, involved in various other things such as has a material that costs, or belongs to a transmutation school of magic, or does this damage. Uh, if you can think of it as a modifier or a feature of a spell, it is probably included somewhere in here on the filter. And we can, of course, combine filters like, say, ninth level uh, druid spells that are... Uh, transmutation. Let's see what comes up. There is exactly one spell because it fulfills all three requirements. And that is, uh, that is the basics of learning the spells. You can always click reset uh, at any point. But this has been our basic overview of how to navigate 5e tools. Uh, we hope you found this video helpful and thank you for listening to us. Goodbye.